Bowman here from BW1.com. And with the new Windows 8 that's out, and one of the unique things about it is the new start screen. They've gotten rid of the traditional start menu and have come up with this new start screen here, which is what I call a really cool thing. But when you first look at it, it's definitely confusing, but very intriguing when you first look at it. And um, there's some people that are kind of confused with sort of how it works, how you can navigate around. So I'm going to show you how to navigate around how to basically use the start screen in Windows 8. And I'm going to do this video based on non-touchscreen devices such as desktop, um, traditional desktop computers, non-touchscreen all in one computers, and you know, laptops before they had touchscreens as well too. And you're going to see here that while you know it looks like I said it's intriguing, it looks like it could be a little difficult to navigate around, using a mouse you can pretty much do all the same things and get all the same functionality that you normally get out of a touch. So this is the start screen that you see here. It's filled with a ton of tiles and information that they pretty much throw right at you. And you can see what they have, what some of the tabs moving is sort of what they call live tiles. And that brings you sort of information and such at a sort of at a very quick glance, trying to get you in and out of the app as quickly as possible with the information that you need. And you can customize some of these live tiles as well too. So let's say right here, this um, Bing um, tile, I want to customize it. I just right click on top of it. Let's say I want to make it smaller. You can do like that. It makes the tile a little bit smaller. I can make it bigger again. And I can also turn off the live tile so that it won't continue to give me that um, little tidbit of information. It'll just stay right on this particular uh, icon, uh, screen, or rather a uh, particular icon uh, that you can see there. But I think live tiles is pretty cool to keep. So I'm going to leave that on because I think that's kind of the whole point there is to get that quick information. It's pretty cool just to see kind of them all jumping around as such in unison. And um, you can also do some other things. You can also kind of customize the way this looks itself in terms of how you have these grouped. All you really need to do, let's say I want to move this Bing tile, I can move it anywhere I want to. I can even make a new group with it if I want to by just dropping it like that. It's not a new group, but let's say I want to make a new group down here. Just drop it like that. Now that's in a new group itself. I can also bring it back here. I can move any number of uh, tiles anywhere I want to and just group them accordingly. You can see down here at the bottom, you have the scroll bar. This allows you to kind of the hold on to that to scroll from left to right as you add application onto the start screen. You can also use your scroll wheel if you're using a desktop mouse. And you can use sort of the scroll uh, section on your touchpad as well to whatever the scroll command is on your touchpad on your laptop to pretty much do the same thing. So you can also add things to this as well too. So if we want to add things, we'll just right click. We'll go to all apps. And let's say you want to add, um, let's see, what's a cool application to add? Let's see, let's add, um, let's see. Ooh, let's add the reader application. So let's say we want to add that. We right click on that and we want to hit pin to start. You hit pin to start. Now we head back over to the start menu by just uh, hitting the menu key. And you're right back there, and you can see the uh, where's the reader application shows up right there, right in the side. So that's where you can just pin apps. You can also unpin from start just by going like that. We can head back to the all apps section. We can add um, non Windows 8 centric apps such as FileZilla. We can add that. We can add a few things with this. We can have it open a new window in the desktop mode. We can run it as administrator. We can unpin from taskbar because I already have it pinned to my taskbar, but I can pin it to the taskbar from here as well too. I can also pin the start. So if I want to pin the start, just do that. Unclick back, go back to the home screen here, and you can see files, FileZilla is right there for you. So that's pretty cool. You can also just get to that same all app section or basically get to an app just by typing in. As soon as you start typing something, let's say I want to, um, I already have Google Chrome on here, but let's say I want to get Google Chrome. So I decide to type in Google, and you can see the app search results, results will show up right here on the side for Google Chrome. I can click that and it'll open it up. And you can also search in different aspects as well, too. So you can search in settings, you can search in files, you can search in in the store if you want to in the Microsoft Store Bing if you hit Bing it'll search within there as well too so it's pretty cool you can do that and we're gonna go ahead and uh, head back home here as you can see right there so um, it's pretty cool you can just kind of just type in and just start searching which is really nice you can also regroup these tiles and the way you do that is um, you see this little, little icon right there this little uh, dash right here tap on that zooms right out and you can sort of reposition how all of these are organized as you can see can move them around shift them around all crazy and such and you can actually right click on them and you can name a group as well too if you want to name this group uh, Windows 8 apps you can name it now that's the name of that group uh, permanently from now on you can also unname it if you want to too double clicking back in and gets you out of that zoom mode there 
So that's where you can kind of organize that around. You can also, the biggest thing here is all about sort of how you can just jump between different apps and sort of do multitasking, split screen, and all sorts of things like that. I'll show you, kind of show you how that works. Let's see. We are going to, let's say we want to use two different apps. Let's say we want to use the Maps application. We can bring that up. And let's say I want to get out of Maps and I want to go back home. You just go down here to go to the start screen here. Let's say now I want to open up uh, Travel. You know, Maps and Travel, you want to have both together and you want to sort of kind of have the map up and travel up at the same time. The way you do that is if you hover in the corner here, it's going to bring up your most recently used application. Now, if you click on it, and you bring it over, you can see you can drop it just like that, and now you have a split screen between the two apps, and you can interact with both of them as you want to as well, as you can see there. And you can also, you can't control how big the split is, unfortunately, so, so if you click on this little, uh, this little three buttons right here and drag it over, it's only really one size kind of fits all with it, as you can see there. And if you want to close out an application, you just it's highlight at the top, and you see that little hand that pops up there. See the hand right there? Just bring that down. Shoot it down like that and it closes out the application and you want this to be full screen again. Just pull all the way over and it brings it into full screen. You can also see here I have some other applications running, but let's say I don't want a specific one. So what you want to do is you want to hold it. You want to click on that app, bring it back like this. So you want to, you, I hope you saw that right there. Let's try that one more time. So I want to do is I want to highlight that, bring, bring it up, hold on to it. You don't want to bring it all the way. You want to bring it back, one, like bring it left to right. And you can, or right to left rather and you can see you see other applications that you have running that you can quickly access if you want to bring up the desktop you can bring it up like that if you want to go back here to the Bing travel app you can you can also with this as well the same motion go back to the start menu just like that and there you are within a start menu so pretty cool stuff you can do here with, with the start screen you really have a lot of options for customizing this and making this look pretty much any grouping this any way you kind of want to without too much of a hassle, especially on a desktop mouse. I actually can get used to it really quickly just by just kind of knowing what the commands are, which I pretty much showed you here. So that's pretty much navigating the start screen within Windows 8. It's actually kind of kind of simple and intuitive once you've learned it. Like I said, it's an intriguing look, but it is confusing at first. But once you kind of learn how the mouse commands work and, and things like that, how everything kind of goes. Another thing I wanted to show you guys that I didn't do in the original uh, recording of this video is the charms, which you can see right here you just got to go to the either the top right or bottom right corner here of the screen with the mouse and it brings up the charms up, up here and you do um, several different things you have the search charm which allow you to search obviously your device you can also just type to do searching as well too you can also bring it up here to share i'll show you share in a second you also bring hit the hit the uh, window icon here for start brings you back to the start screen but let's say uh for the search let's, i mean the share let's say you're in an app like uh travel app here and you want to share something you can easily share it and it brings up a list of options for mail, people, Wikipedia and such there. And we'll also go back to the corner here. Devices, if you have any devices plugged in, such as a camera, phone and things like that, it'll give you options of what you can do with each one of those. It knows it has a second, second screen and allow you to access different options with that. And we'll bring this back up again. And it's just settings where you can adjust your start, uh, your tiles. You can show administrative tools for it if you want to. You can see um, you can see your network connections, your volume, notifications, power, keyboard. You can change your PC settings when you hit that. Brings you into the settings here. You can customize a lock screen. You can customize what the start screen's colors and such are too. So you can go here and if you, I have it on this color scheme. Let's say I want to change it. I can make it a color scheme like this and just go back over here to home. Go back home and you see the color scheme instantly changes like that. So just want to show you those quick few things there. If you have any other questions about uh, Windows 8 or the Windows 8 Star screen, post them below here below this video or on our website at bw1.com. Definitely check out all our cool tech news reviews and such over at bw1.com. Subscribe to our YouTube page here. Connect with us on all the social networks, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google+. You know we're on all of them. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.